Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Photoshop for Video, the weekly podcast all about using Photoshop for video and motion graphics. Today, we're going to take a look at some tools that don't see as much action as they should, and that is the patching and healing tools. Now, many of you are probably used to using the clone stamp tool, which has been around for a long time, but you may have missed out when Photoshop started sneaking in new tools in the last couple of versions. This week's podcast is going to explore how to use those tools to fix problems in your images. Let's jump in. Now, I'm using three different images here, and we're going to take a look at patching, spot healing, and the vanishing point. If you want to take these images and use them for hands-on practice, just visit creativecow.net and download them from the podcast area. Here we go. This particular shot of the beach has some problems in it. We've got some junk on the sand that I want to get rid of. To do this, we're going to use the patch tool. Now, the patch tool is located over here, and it's in the same well as the healing brush. Let's grab it there. The way the patch tool works is you select the area that you want to get rid of. And it's just a freehand selection type tool. You then choose if you want to patch the source or the destination. We're going to use source in this case. We've selected the source that we want to get rid of, and then we drag to a new area to sample the pixels. Let's see how it works. I'll go ahead and drag to a clear area, and it gives me a nice preview of what's going to happen. That looks pretty good, and release. And what it does is it thinks for a moment and then blends those pixels together. There we go, got rid of it. Let's select this trash here and drag to another area that we want to get rid of. You could change this to destination if you needed to, and that would simply allow you to say, take these selected pixels and apply them wherever I drop. And that could be useful if you want to quickly pick things up. Notice right there, a very important thing happened. Even though, we'll do a quick undo here, even though we're taking brighter pixels and dropping them on a darker area, when we release, Photoshop blends together. And that's the beauty about the patch tool. What's happening here is it's not just a clone, but rather a clone and a blend combined together. This works really well because it allows you to take bad pixels and replace them with good pixels, and Photoshop will automatically compensate for different adjustments in the brightness area. Let's take a look at another tool. The spot healing tool is closely related to the patch tool. And what spot healing does is samples good pixels to replace bad pixels. So here we go. Let's go ahead and grab that. The spot healing brush will go ahead and automatically sample for you. So let's get a nice small brush and zoom in here on the forehead. And notice we have a little blemish there. Left bracket gives me a nice small brush, and I could paint over the blemished area. And when I release, it sampled good pixels. Here we go. And we could just go through and pick up little problem areas like veins and acne. This is also useful if you have a blemish or a scratch in a photo, and it'll sample pixels from around the area and fill them in. So the spot tool here is really useful. It allows you to go after bad pixels, and Photoshop will do its best to find good pixels to replace. If you have a really problem area, just switch to the regular healing brush here, which allows you to option click to set a sample point. So I can option click on the forehead here, which is a nice area of clear skin, and come down here to the chin and clone in over some of the blemishes and you'll see that it did a nice job of blending that together. Now, if you get more texture than you want, no big deal. We can choose Quick Undo here. And instead of blending in normal mode, change this to something like Replace. And let's go from the cheek here. And what you get is a little bit softer of a blend. So the Replace mode is gentler and does a little bit better job blending if you have tough skin tones to work with. There we go. That worked great. There's one more spot to take advantage of. That's right here. Let's simply go ahead and option click to set a good source point, And then go right over that. There we go. And when we release, you see that it blended together and got rid of the spot. There we go. Picture fixed. Now, there's one more command, and that is the vanishing point feature that allows you to clone or patch using perspective. Here's how it works. 
I've got a picture here, and yes, this particular photo really has a burnt out light on the marquee. Fortunately, we can clone one O from down here up top. Now, there's some perspective here, so if we just did a regular clone stamp, you'd see it wouldn't work. See, there's the clone stamp, and I try to patch that in, and we get problem areas. It doesn't look right. So let's choose Filter, Vanishing Point. And this allows us to define where the image is. So we quickly click and draw out our perspective plane. Click, click. And now it knows where to draw. If you get red, it means it wasn't quite right. So you drag until it looks clean. There we go. Let's zoom in a little bit. Grab the clone stamp, hold down the option key and click. Come up here and line it up and click. And you'll see that it automatically adjusted the perspective for the clone and matched that to the surface correctly. There we have it. Quick OK and the image is repaired. So, some very powerful tools in the latest versions of Photoshop. You'll start seeing these pop up, Photoshop CS2, CS3, and CS4. These commands are really useful, so if you're not making the patch, the clone, or vanishing point part of your workflow, be sure to check them out. Much more useful than the everyday clone stamp tool. My name is Rich Harrington. I invite you to head on over to creativecow.net. I'm in the Photoshop form. You can post questions, look for answers, as well as check out lots of additional tutorials. Thanks again for joining us.